Hey everybody, um, hope you've had a good day today. I wanted to get with y'all, uh, let y'all know that I had a, a great day. I went back to work today. Today's my first day back and um, I had a good day. It was good to see all the babies again and all my coworker friends. Um, everybody was giving me hugs and was so happy to see me and that made me feel really good. Um, I keep thinking today's Monday though because I guess being off, uh, we were closed yesterday. So if we hadn't been closed, I would have went back yesterday. But I just kept thinking today's Monday, but I'm just glad it was a good day. Uh, several of y'all texted me um, or messaged me and let me know that y'all were thinking about me today. And I just appreciate that so much. You have no idea how much that means to me. Uh, one of the uh, kids, his grandmother wanted to uh, meet me right quick and she gave me a hug to let me know that she was enjoying my videos and she'd been following me on this journey and that uh, that she loved me and that really meant a lot too, that she stopped and and uh, took a few minutes out of her day to, to give me a hug and to encourage me. So I'm just thankful for the people that God has placed in my life for such a time as this. Um, whether you're my family or your friends or uh, whatever the case may be. And, and I really consider us all just one big family anyway. I just thank you for, for uh, sowing into my life and to be being faithful and encouraging me and praying for me. It just means so much to know that uh, that people support me and I'm thankful for that and I'm still doing a lot of praying about the direction God wants me to go because I know he knows the right place the right time the right everything I just I pray I would like to be settled somewhere well before the holidays but that's me uh, but I am it was a really great day and I got some baby lovings today which was always a good thing and um, I wasn't dreading coming home I was glad to come home even though I knew he, you know, Robert's not here, but I was still glad to come home and see Dallas. And Dallas did fine. He was all excited to see me. And we've already been playing some. And right now he's passed out on the floor again. So uh, he he has the life. You know, he plays and he eats and he drinks his water and he goes to sleep. And it's just a, a cycle that he repeats over and over and over. Um, but I'm just thankful for a good day. Thankful for a good job, for good coworkers, um, just for... All the blessings that God has bestowed upon me that even in this time that I'm walking through right now, this season of my life that took me completely unaware and and really knocked me back a few steps. I'm still thankful that even in the middle of all of it, I can still see the hand of God and I can still see his blessings and his provision. And I'm very, very thankful to God for that. So I'm going to let y'all go and I'm going to relax here. I'm, I'm about to fall asleep, actually. I'm sleepy. Uh, I slept good last night, but then I had to get up early this morning. I got a little Andy Griffith going on TV, and Dallas has now gotten went to the window because he heard something. So I mean, we're just wild up in this house. I mean, you can tell we are wild. Uh, but anyway, it's good to have good days, um, even in like it's in the midst of turmoil and heartache. I still had a good day, and I'm glad for that. And it just helps me to know that, and reminds me that God is still moving and working, even when I don't see Him, even when I don't feel Him, He's working. And I'm thankful for that because I don't go by, you know, sight. I don't go by feelings. I go by faith. Um, so, you know, that's just what we have to do. We walk by faith, not by sight. And so I'm still believing in what I know and not what I see or hear. Um, because God is what I know. And that's who I've known ever since I was a little girl. You know, I, I've been taught about God uh, from the time I was born. I've been taken to church all my life. And now I go to church now. Nobody has to take me now. I go on my own. Because I want to go. Let me see. Now he wants to play again. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hello. Um. So. Anyway. Let's see. He wants to play. He's got a toilet paper roll. He thinks that's a toy. Um. I you buy all these toys for him, and he wants to play with a cardboard roll from piece of, uh, from a roll of toilet paper. But uh, anyway, I'm just thankful for God's hand. I'm thankful. You know, that he still loves me and he cares about me. And that even before all this happened, he had already made a way for me. So I just want you to know that no matter what you're facing right now, no matter how big of an obstacle, how big of a mountain it seems, God knew it was coming. And if God has allowed it to come, then he's already made provision for you to get past it or to get through it or to get over it. However, he plans on doing it. Uh, he plans on, on making a way where there seems to be no way because that's what he does. Why are you smacking? That's just rude. I mean, that's what he does. He specializes in the impossible. 
because he's a God of miracles. He's a God of the impossible. And if it wasn't impossible, then it's something we could possibly fix ourselves. And then, you know, where would the praise be in all of that? You know, God wouldn't get any praise in that. So sometimes we have to face these hard times and these heartbreaking moments because uh, God wants to show how big and how awesome he is. You know, and um, I'm not saying that he does these things, you know, like, you know, thinking I'm just going to put this situation in this person's life, you know, because I'm God and I can do this and I just want to see what they're going to do. I don't mean it like that. And I know y'all know that I'm, I don't mean it that way. I'm just saying that God is, um, he's a good God and he's faithful. And um, when things come away that are bad and that are hurtful, uh, things that devastate us, you know, and completely knock us back and knock us off of our feet for a while. I'm thankful that God has already seen it coming. He's already made a way out of it. It might not be an instant way out. It might be something we have to search for. But I just know as long as I worship Him and I praise Him like I'm supposed to, you know, praising Him in the hallway. You know, when one door closes and the other door hasn't opened yet, you praise Him in the hallway. And that's hard to do sometimes. You know, when... when uh, when your husband has passed away and you're having to start all over from scratch and you're missing him and you're heartbroken and you're devastated, it's not easy to praise the Lord during those times. And did I do that all the time? No, I did not. I'm sorry, but I didn't. I couldn't. But even in the middle of all of that, I can still now praise the Lord. You know, I go to church. I worship the Lord. I sing songs here at home. Ow, he was laying on my foot. I worship the Lord. You know, and I'm not saying it's easy because it's not, but that's when that faith comes in and you got to push past that flesh because this flesh here wants you to just lay down and just cry and be sad and be upset and be depressed and just hermit, be a hermit the rest of my life and not even socialize with anybody because that's how much you hurt inside when something like this happens. But I know that's not what God intends for me to do. And I know that, you know, even though, this is the most devastating thing I've ever gone through. I still know and trust God enough to know that there's something greater on the other side of this, you know, and it's not going to be easy. And I wish I didn't have to go through it. But, you know, sometimes those things just happen. So um, be encouraged tonight and know that even if you're facing what looks to be an impossible, heartbreaking devastating life-changing situation god can still show up right in the middle of it and he can still open the door that needs to be open he can close the doors that need to be closed remember what i said last night about i want to be in god's will i don't want to step out into anything that's not his will and if that means you know sometimes we have to wait on him sometimes it's not hey you go this way right now sometimes it's you just take a step this way for right now and then you take another step this way for right now. And we just have to follow him step by step. Um, and that's what I'm having to do right now in every situation. Mm -hmm. You know, with the loss of my husband and then wanting to try to no uh, find another place to live. And just different things going on right now. You know, I'm having to make decisions now completely by myself. Um, and things of that nature. I'm having to take care of, of everything by myself. Not that nobody will help me because they will. But, you know, I'm just saying the, the normal, like, day-to-day, -day, everyday things that, you know, we take for granted that someone is here helping us make decisions on and helping us with, I don't have that anymore. You know, my, my other half right now is gone. And um, I, I feel very incomplete. But I know that I can trust God that through time and through a lot of prayer, uh, me praying myself and other people praying for me, I'm going to be okay. And I'm going to, one day I'm going to be whole again. Um, and I'm thankful for that, that I know God's promises are yes and amen. And that he has a purpose for me still being here. He has a plan for me, for Anita Waldo. He has a plan for me, you know, and he'll reveal it to me when the time is right. And until the end, he's going to give me the grace and the strength that I need to make it through and to keep putting one foot in front of the other, even on those days when it's maybe not a good day and I'm struggling, you know, and I feel like I'm going to fall apart. Um, he's still there even in those days too. So I'm going to go, I'm, um, going to sit here and relax for a little bit longer, look through some mail, um, and just rest and then get ready for another day of work tomorrow. So like I said, I'm still believing what I know, not what I see or hear. Hashtag Waldo Warriors. Um, this is a fight. I am in an all out fight. 
for my mind, for my spiritual health, my physical health, for every part of me. I'm in an all-out fight. We all are. Whether we realize it or not, this, this daily life is an everyday battle. And sometimes the, the, the warrior inside of us gets tired. But, you know, that's when Jesus steps in and, and he shields us for a little while just so we can kind of regroup and refocus. And then we got to get up and go again. So I'm encouraging you today to pick up that sword and pick up that shield. And let's keep fighting this fight together, okay? And you pray for me and I'll pray for you. So y'all have a great night. Get some rest. Um, love one another. Appreciate your family. Appreciate your spouse. If you still have them with you. If you have children, love on your children because I don't have children. And that would be a comfort right now as well. Um, so just never take for granted what you have. And always remember that a lot of the blessings that we have, other people, you know, we might take them for granted, but other people are praying for those things. So, you know, I try to always, always try to make sure I'm appreciative to all, to God for all of my blessings because, you know, there's a lot of things I don't have, but there's a lot of things that I don't need either. And God knows that. He knows what we can handle. So I'm going to go <laughs> and I'm going to quit yapping. Um, thank you, Sister Ward. I, I'm looking forward to meeting you one day in person. I feel like I already know you, like I said, because my parents, uh, I think it was on y'all's show, come on Saturday nights, maybe, on VTN, and they would always watch it. So I feel like I know you and your family anyway um, from back then. So thank you very much. And we are, all, we are, through Jesus Christ, we're winners, we're not losers, we're victors, not victims. Um, you know, and we're going to make it, we're going to win. We are more than conquerors of Jesus Christ. So y'all just uh, keep praying for me and uh, and encouraging me, and I'll do my best to encourage y'all too. We gotta we gotta stick together, y'all. Gotta stick together. All right. And it was Saturday night. I thought so, because uh, that was the Saturday night thing. We watch uh, we watch y'all's show every Saturday night. So and we really enjoyed the singing and the preaching too. So anyway, uh, you never know who you're ministering to. Maybe years down the road, you're gonna see a face. It's going to say, thank you. You know, I watched your show. Thank you for ministering to me and my family. So thank you all very much to the Ward family. I appreciate that. So y'all have a good night, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Smile. <laughs>